everyone my name is pooja sapkar today i am going to showcase presentation on topic data storage models these are the points i am going to cover in next few minutes big data storage model in this first one is a distributed hash table second key value storage model then what is a data and storage models data and storage models are the basis for big data ecosystem stacks storage model captures the physical aspects and feature for data storage Data model captures the logical representation and structure for data processing and management. Basically, data is divided into two parts: structural part and the actual content. The structure, that is a table or a schema type of data, stored in the data models, and the actual content is stored in the storage models. Then, understanding storage and data model together is essential for understanding the built-on big data ecosystem. Then, what is NoS? Why NoSQL is required? Before we start about storage models, let's first understand what NoSQL means. NoSQL means not the only SQL, which means we are going to retrieve and store data from non-relational database. Below are the drawbacks with RDBMS while handling big data. First, RDBMS cannot handle large amount of data, but NoSQL handles the massive amount of data very quickly. Second drawback. RDBMS difficult to change tables and relationships but NoSQL is the schema free third drawback relational database store data in a fixed and predefined structure but NoSQL database provide much more flexibility when it comes to handling data NoSQL database does not put a restriction on the type of data you can store together fourth drawback relational database use a centralized application that is location dependent the nosql database is designed to distribute data on a global scale so these are some advantages of nosql over the rdbms so nosql data storage types in this first one is a distributed hash table so what is the distributed hash table a distributed hash table is a decentralized data store that looks up data based on the key value pair every node in a distributed hash table is responsible for a set of keys and their associated values the key is a unique identifier for its associated data value so basically dht means distributed hash table can be stored in the form of key and value pair in which the key is a unique identifier for its associated value and the data value can be any form of data so every node in a distributed hash table is a responsible for set of a keys and their associated values and whatever the key created in a dht it's created through a hashing function so this is all about the distributed hash table working with dht in above diagram we have a data which contains different information like name address number etc so whenever dht functionality is used on that data it will first apply hash function on one of the column let's take an column which mention name john do on which we are going to apply hash function so in the next steps after loading a data apply hash function on the name column and then it will create a key from that hash function so here in this case 46 CW72 is a hash key for every data there is a unique key is created after execution of hash function on every data and after that the whole data is get stored in a hash table in the form of key and value pair so whenever we want to retrieve particular data from table then it will just retrieve only a data that we want on basis of a unique hash value instead of fetching complete data so this is a working of dht because of the dht distributed hash table this provides an easy way to find information in a large collection of data then key value storage model second model is a key value storage model a key value database is a type of non relational database that uses a simple key value method to store the data a key value database store data as a collection of key value pairs in which a key serve as a unique identifier both key and values can be anything ranging from simple object to complex compound objects 
key value database are highly partitionable and allow horizontal scaling at scales that other types of database cannot achieve. So a key value storage model is a type of data storage software program that store data as a set of unique identifier each of which have an associated value. This data pairing is known as a key value pair. The unique identifier is the key for an atom of data and a value is either data being identified or the location of that data. So what are the advantages of that key value store? First advantage is a key value store can be very fast and very fast for read and write operation. Second advantage is key value storage are very flexible. So we can store a massive amount of data using that key value storage method. Next, for example, Amazon DynamoDB allocates additional partition to a table if an existing partition fills to capacity and more storage space is required. So Amazon DynamoDB is a one type of the database or is a type of database which can store data in the form of key and value storage key and value type of data it can be stored so amazon dynamodb is a fully managed nosql database service that allow to create database tables that can store and retrieve any amount of data it automatically manage the data traffic of tables over multiple servers and maintain the overall performance so next the following table shows an example of a key value store in which the key is the name of the city and the value is the address of the university in that city. Use cases. During the holiday shopping season, an e-commerce website may serve billions of orders in seconds. Key value database can handle the scaling of large amount of data and extremely high volumes of state changes while servicing millions of simultaneous users through distributed processing and storage. Key value database also have built-in redundancy which can handle the loss of storage model. So we know about the different e-commerce websites. These all websites uses a key value storage method or, or key value storage models to store large amount of data. Because a key value database have a built-in redundancy which can handle the loss of storage models. So it is very useful model. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. I hope you like this video.